So, hello everyone. Uh, um, I will show you some stuff we found uh, from uh, Pestis uh, using the AIR framework, which is an analysis, analysis information leak software. So basically, A is, is a modular framework to analyze potential information leaks from unstructured data sources, like paste from Pestbin. Um, the software is available on GitHub, uh, and it is fully open source. So recently, we included uh, a new uh, uh, model, which is a built-in uh, hidden services crawler. And um, I'll show you some results we, we get from it. So um, on average, um, with this new new tool, we have around um, seven gigabit of screenshot per day. Uh, only from Onion we can find on pastes, and we are only crawling it uh, with the depth of one. Meaning that if we increase the depth, we will have way more data. So, for example, uh, just below, this is uh, an example of uh, Onion list that we can find on Pastebin. So let's go with the slideshow. So. For example, on uh, this kind of website, you can see this kind of thing where it, uh, the guy, the webmaster, is asking for money where he pretends to be the father and uh, know the truth and so on. What you can have also is basic counterfeits and uh, replica of real money. Also, Visa, uh, American Express cards. Different type of services like hacking, social media threat. Uh, background checks, uh, computer security training, and so on. Uh, less happy thing, uh, assassination and murder services. Yeah, it's pretty expensive. And it depends on the target also. Um, this is really, really, really interesting. So this is a website uh, which uh, provides a way to have a coach to lose weight. And it's only available in the hidden services, so it's not public on the index well. And they only accept uh, Bitcoin and not real money. I don't know who would use that. Also, what you <laughs> also what you have is some classical illegal stuff like drugs, different type of drugs, weapons, of course, that you can find, and this kind of thing. So precious material like diamond, where they provide interesting information and even data sheet of the product. And of course, I promise a unicorn, there you are. Um, yeah, this is an interesting website uh, called Mystery Box. So basically, you just buy a box, uh, and you don't know what is inside. <laughs> so you have to pay. So Bitcoin, they said it's worth uh, hundreds or thousands of dollars, but you don't know what is inside. And it's not the only website. You have multiple ones. For example, this is another one where they pretend that you can buy a mystery box of that cost. And apparently they were hacked some times ago, uh, but now they are back. So all fine. Um, you can only find, find schemers uh, like this or an improved version like this. And well, it's not that expensive for this kind of product, as I, I would say. Also, you have things that look like really real, um, it, the standard Genica one, um, where they have some interesting features like built-in languages, a lot of them, um, give also the customer a receipt of the transaction and, and so on. So you have a lot of things. Um, yes, so we have a lot of this kind of thing where they kind of uh, expect you to be a human to enter it. Or even more interesting, they require you to disable JavaScript. So it's kind of the opposite in some side, some website where they want you to have JavaScript enabled, but they want to uh, that you have this uh, JavaScript disabled. And this kind of website usually are this kind of thing where, uh, well, that's not good. Um, Jailbait and uh, child sexual abuse material. I suppose they protect the. I would say the user to be detected with the JavaScript, but well, I don't know why they would do that. Um, ah, this is really awful. So a guy just posted a blog of recipes on the hidden services, not available on the index web, and it's full of recipes. S perhaps there is something behind this, but well, who, who knows? Um, and last, more legit stuff, so kind of thing where journalists can post uh, their article and so on. 
And that's it for the quick slideshow because I don't have much time. So thank you very much. Um, if you want to learn more about the, the A framework, it is essentially able to analyze things. But if you want to learn more, um, also learn about the new feature we developed with Basic Support. It's really interesting. A lot of uh, also fun, I would say, content. Um, there is a workshop tomorrow at 1.30, uh, which is replacing the Ask Me Anything. So thank you very much.